Hi everyone, welcome to my intro to watercolor video. If you're new here, my name is Emily Winslow and I'm going to be teaching you how to paint with watercolor today. We are going to be going over the basics today on mixing colors, what products that I use, and different techniques such as wet on wet versus wet on dry. So if you're looking for a way to relax after a day of work or just a new hobby to pick up, you're in the right place. Let's go ahead and grab our paintbrushes and get started. Let's start out with the products that we are gonna be using today. The thing I love about watercolor is that there are really only four things that you need, and that is the paper, the paint, water, and your brushes. So for basically everything, the paper, the paint, and my brushes, I love to use the Master Touch brand, which you can get from Hobby Lobby, but there are also some great starter kits. This watercolor kit is actually the Prang brand, which you can find on Amazon, and it's very reasonably priced. All right, now that we know what we're gonna be using here today, I am gonna be showing you how to mix colors with those palettes. So for a lot of my paintings, I love to have an earthy palette. So I'm gonna show you how I mix these colors to achieve these. I'm going to start by taking my brush and dipping it in the water. I'm currently using a size 12 brush to get this dusty rose color. I'm gonna use the white. You'll notice I use a lot of white in my palette. And then I'm gonna take some of the red and a tad bit of the brown. Let's go ahead and mix that up here. I'm gonna use a little bit of orange as well. And once you have the color that you like, go ahead and paint on your paper now I want to get a bit of a darker tone here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a very similar combo of white, red, and brown. I just wanna use a little bit more brown here to get a darker pigment. For the green, again, I'm gonna be using my white for the lighter color and then just a tad bit of green. Feel free to add brown if you want it to be more earthy. For this darker green, you can tell it's almost got like a charcoal look to it. I added black to it, so if you want to take the green plus your black, and that'll get you a nice dark green. I often use these color, these green color combos for trees when I'm painting with watercolor. For the blues, I'm gonna take, again, white plus light blue and just add water to it. Something to note is to make the color lighter, you can also just add some water and that will lighten it up. Okay. And then for this blue, I'm gonna take this dark blue and some white, mix those together. And we've got our darker blue. Go ahead and give this color swatch a try. Definitely recommend if you're a new artist to find a palette that you love and use that consistently for your paintings. That will really give a style to your art. All right, let's take a look at the different techniques we can use for our paintings. So today I'm gonna to show you the difference between wet on wet versus wet on dry. So for example, a lot of times I will use the wet on wet if I'm painting a sky. And this means that we are gonna layer over the entire area with water and then go in with the paint. So it gives a really great blend to it. Now, when we're doing wet on dry, I use this a lot for layering. So basically we're gonna have an area that's dry and go over with some paint. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna start with the sky area and I'm gonna take my paintbrush and I'm gonna go over the entire area just with water. I'm going to take the blue, get that light blue shade that we practiced. Now I'm going to go over the whole area with this light blue color. And I might avoid certain areas if I want it to be a cloud. Now I'm going to take a darker shade of blue. And I'm going to continue adding some color to this area and see how it blends really well. Because the area is wet and the paint is also wet, it allows it to bleed really well. Let's take a look at wet and dry. So I'm gonna leave the paper dry and I'm gonna go over with some paint. 
I'm gonna just do an example of grass. So let's take some green and I'm going to just make some upward movements to make some grass. See, as you can tell, I can control it a little bit better because we're not working with a wet surface. It's not blending as much. And so I use the wet on dry technique when I'm working with buildings or just layering certain areas that I want to have very straight lines and I don't want it to bleed. So once you have a layer, you can even continue going over that. So I'm gonna actually take a darker shade of green. So go ahead and try these two techniques out and let me know if you prefer one or the other, but I think that all paintings can benefit from using both of them. The cleanup process for this is super easy. All we're gonna do is wash our paintbrush off with water, dump our paint water, and clean up our palette just by using a wet paper towel. Super easy and that's why I love watercolor. I hope you all learned something from this video today and if you enjoyed it please like this video and subscribe to my channel and if you want to follow along with my watercolor journey you can find me on instagram and tiktok at watercolor with emily thanks everyone have a great day Bye.